There, I think it's going. Yeah, okay. Hey, it's been a good while since I did a video upload because, you know, I've been busy with work and also the fact that, you know, uh, my digital camera was busted. You know, I had a tablet and it, you know, it was, it was messed up. But, you know, I got this this phone now that uh, had a digital camera in it. Originally, I had like one of those cheap flip phones, and but recently something happened to it. It was a Net 10, uh, you know, the real cheap one. But uh, you know, their service seems to have been, I don't know, it doesn't seem to be working for me. So I don't know. Maybe Net 10 went out of business, or maybe it's just my phone or my old phone. I'm not sure. You know, they just seemed like it is. It lets me add time to it, but then it just, you know, it, it doesn't work. So, I don't know, maybe Net10 went out of business like a lot of other businesses. You know, here and there around the overall uh, country. I didn't know I could, Is that zooming in, or what does that do? Huh. huh. It just makes, like, little flashes. I'm, just, I'm still figuring out the, uh, all the details to some of this little, you know, digital phone. But let me see if I can prop this phone up right quick. So you should check it out. See? Got me a nice new cloak and everything. Nice new look. Looks kind of uh, more of a, ooh, classy. I'm going to go with classy because, you know, my old look. It was just a simple dark robe. So, this one, this one's got style, you know. It's got like a nice aspect to it. See, it's got this silver, it's got like this silver little um, patch goes down the side there. I think that's kind of cool, you know. Well, I didn't just, you know, I wanted to up to just show you my uh, cool-looking uh, new cloak and everything. Yeah, uh, let's see. It's, I'm sure everybody's noticed that the uh, country's gone to shit. Which, if you had watched some of my previous videos, some, some of it was me ranting about the cult that's behind the majority of the problems in, a, in the country. Now, they're not behind every single last problem in America, but the Coke Network is behind the majority of them. If you do the research and take the time, you will see, you can trace the majority of America's problems back to the Coke Network. You might think I'm imagining or, or well, exaggerating that, but. You can if you do the research, like I'm saying, you can trace a lot of the problems back to either government officials who are in massive debt to the Coke network, or you they are full on members of the Coke network, sort of like operatives or Coke network agents who are you know, like they're full on members of the little group of rich lunatics. And they have been behind, you know, like they've been passing law and policies that say basically boil down and put simply, the entire philosophy is based around overspoil the richest and wealthiest at the expense of the environment and everything else. Like everyone who isn't rich or in the environment exploit both those things to give it all to the rich. And according to the founder of their insane beliefs, which was Frederick Koch, you know, Fred Koch, the, um, you know, uh, he's the father of David and Charles Koch. K-O-C-H is how they spell their last name. Anyway, they, uh, according to his belief that doing this, and that he made this up in the 1950s, remember this. Uh, uh, it's like he, he's like, if we do it my way, then it will lead America to a golden age. And it's like, well, we're doing things more the Coke way than ever before. And 
Do you see the golden age that Fred Koch and his delusions thought was going to be a good thing? Nah, this is all falling apart to shit. But if you're rich right now, you have never had it better. If you are a rich person, you have never had it better right now. Gotta give them credit on the, the way they the, the Coke Network played the Republicans off the Democrats since 1980 when you know David and Charles inherited the uh, the empire. And speaking of inheriting the corrupt empire of the Coke Network, congratulations to the Dark Prince himself, Chase Coke, who will soon inherit everything from his father. Including top position as leader uh, amongst the leaders of the Coke Network, you know, cult of rich fanatics. He's going to inherit his family's top position as being the guy who le- is the, leads the, like, they're sort of like a, think of them like a board of rich lunatics who lead the overall goals and agendas of the Coke Network cult. They're based around a business culture and philosophy. So, you know, it, even though the Koch family sets at the head of this, I'm going to call them similar to organized crime, they are the, um, the Koch the, the, the family is not the only leaders. There's a, there's a few leaders. And as I can tell, there's at least like three to five other people who uh, are almost as powerful in the Coke network as the, the Charles Coke currently. But, you know, Charles' dad founded the club, so he gets special treatment and everything. But anyway, I don't want to bore you too much about those details on that and everything. So, uh, you know, it sounds all grim and everything, and also probably boring. So... Uh, I'm going to end this here in a few, about a minute or two, but I wanted to, you know, uh, give a couple fun facts. Um, like, that I, uh, a while back, I was watching uh, some Horrible Histories clips, and uh, I came across this one, which is really kind of funny. And I'm going to play it for you in a second. Uh, but, uh, two things. First... Uh, one of the fun fact things is uh, that most people don't know is that mosquitoes and bed bugs, when you crush them, they have a subtle pheromone that is released that you know it it makes you more of a target. It like basically tells others of the mosquitoes or the bed bugs that you know here's where the lunch is, and it like sends out a signal that attracts. It's like they just all come running. That's something some people don't know about when they go to crush mosquitoes and bed bugs. Anyway, uh, the other thing that uh, I figured to throw in here as a little fun fact comes from this horrible histories uh, clip, and it, yeah, you, know, you, you gotta have the setup for the right, you know, uh, to understand what I'm going for here, because it made me think. Watching this clip made me think of The Simpsons. You see. The Simpsons are always drawn with yellow skin, right? I mean, and in the Family Guy meets the Simpsons episode, you know, the Family Guy, they, they thought it was odd how everybody was, you know, had yellow skin. So if anyone out there would like, you know, like, to know, like, well, is it possible to have bright Simpsons yellow skin in real life? Well, the answer is yes, and... This horrible histories clip will, you know, explain it. I also uh, did a previous little talk and rant about the effects of blood and different minerals in the blood. Uh, that's an older thing. I go into more detail on like silver's effects and um, like the, the differences in uh, what you know, like diff- like co- like copper will turn your blood blue and. Uh, you know, the effects of silver on the skin, pigments. Um, anyway, uh, this is a similar aspect of skin pigment alteration, but the source of it is a little different. And it, it is, and this really did happen in history with uh, 
what they describe here with the what happens to the women and everything. But anyway, um, I'm going to play the clip for you now, and uh, then I'm going to end this little, up, like, little update thing, because, you know, I, just, I don't want it to go on too long. It's like, sorry if this seemed a little boring to you. I just wanted to show off my new look and, uh, you know, uh, I was just like, share these two little fun facts st stuff. But, uh, all right. So, let's see. If, I, might, I don't think I can flip the phone while it's recording. One sec. Nope, can't flip the phone while it's recording. Or... Nope. Oh, I, nope. I guess not. Okay, I'm gonna have to flip like the first face camera around to this. So, okay, check this out. Here, here's the clip. Making things like grenades, ammunition, and bombs. <laughs> factory can be really hard work so when I go out at the end of the day I like to look my best that's why I always steal some deadly high explosive from the production line and use it to dye my hair a little TNT can really liven up your locks transforming you from a brunette to a blonde I never knew I could look this good here's a sciencey bit TNT is the abbreviated name for the chemical compound trinitrotoluene it's used in bombs to blow things to kingdom come. It'll beat your hair, but it can turn your skin yellow too. Now I'm blonde all over. Thanks, TNT. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, you get that little bit? Where she was, uh, uh, the TNT uh, has a uh, chemical in it. That if you, you like mix it with some water and dye it, you like try to dye your hair with it. Like women really did that, you know, back in the day and shit. And uh, <laughs> if you uh, if you if you do that, then some of, and and the, the the TNT powder mixed with the um, you know, the water and everything gets into your skin pigments and it will dye your skin a, a bright, like, almost Simpsons colored, you know, like, yellow skin. So, you gotta admit, that's, that's a fun little interesting bit of history and at the same time, it's, uh, it's one of the ways that, like I said, that different minerals and compounds have you know, for a, a visual effect on the skin. I think I go in uh, as a wedding, like, um, there, you know, there's that, and, uh, oh yeah, I've been, uh, trying to work in my spare time, I've been, I've been so busy with work, but, uh, in my spare time, I've been trying to work on animation, and, uh, you know, I'm gonna try and, uh, produce some little, uh, TV series kind of things. They're not going to be like perfectly animated, like the you know the best style. But I got some software recently that'll help me make like little manga books. So I'm not going to be doing voice editing because I you know over the characters' voices. I'm just going to kind of like use a little cartoon word bubble, you know, the little word bubbles like in the comic strips and the manga books, and I'm just going to. Use that to tell the stories of, uh, you know, I got a couple of things on my ideas. You know, I've also been working on, uh, you know, creating some video games and such. I'm way better at story crafting and character personality development than the actual animation, but, uh, you know, I, uh, you know, I do my best to work it in there. But once again, you know, like. Like I said, like, before I take all on you, check it out. You have to admit, this, this is a pretty classy ass freaking robe, man. Goes with the, you know, the, get more fr movement and freedom than, than the old uh, death cloak that I was wielding. You know what I mean? Because, <laughs> you know, it's like, a, some, a buddy of mine said, you know, he saw the, my little, 
rants, uh, you know, his little talking points. And and he was like, he's like, man, with the with the skull mask and the 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 dark death cloak, man, you look you look like the Grim Reaper. <laughs> and I was like, hey, well, he's, this has more class. It's like, yeah. Well, take it easy.